I will, I would like to do a land acknowledgement. Now, I know that individuals could be in Manitoba, they could not be in Manitoba joining us since we are virtual, but uh, I would like to recognize that the community of Booth University College is located on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Assiniboine, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. This land is within Treaty 1. We acknowledge this to be a meeting place of community and culture, as in the past, the diversity of peoples who occupy this land and the emerging cultures that enrich our community today present to us and present to us an invitation to build a stronger community as we learn to walk gently with one another in the spirit of truth and reconciliation. Uh, welcome everybody and, and we just uh, acknowledge the land that we're on. If you're somewhere else, I please uh, I ask that you also uh, acknowledge the land that you are on. Uh, thank you for enjo uh, joining me for this information session uh, today. Uh, this presentation is about Booth University Colleges and Red River Colleges, or sorry, Red River College Polytechnics uh, degree complete, uh, completion program at Booth. Um, the agreement is simple. It allows students from uh, Red River Polytechnic to come over to Booth University College to continue uh, your uh, with your uh, business of admissions diploma and make it or complete it into a, um, a degree, uh, undergraduate degree in uh, a bachelor's of business administration. So that's the next 20 to 30 minutes that we'll be going through. Uh, but before we get into all the information, uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Keegan Braun. I'm an admissions counselor here at Booth University College. Uh, and I handle those that are interested in the uh, the two plus two business program. Uh, also with me today is our director of the School of Business, Professor, Professor Wendy Thiessen. Wendy, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Um, thank you uh, everyone for viewing this and for being interested in uh, what Booth can offer uh, our Red River uh, students. So I started at Booth a year ago and some of the reasons I came to Booth were um, its strong values and its central location, easily accessible in downtown Winnipeg, and then also its partnership with lots of different organizations and agencies throughout Winnipeg. And so even though it has all of the benefits of being a smaller campus, it has a tremendous reach throughout Winnipeg. Um, the Red River Partnership is pretty special to me. Um, Red River continues to look for ways and innovative partnerships to add value to the student experience. And so for those of you who started at Red River, uh, you guys have gotten a good year or two years with Red River. And that wasn't enough for Red River. They are working with us to now um, redevelop this partnership. And so... Um, Two years at Red River plus two years at Booth can result in a university degree. And Keegan's gonna take you through the specifics, um, but uh, this program is a way for students who've had um, a really enjoyable experience at Red River to continue going to school. So if you, if you are feeling like you're not quite done, if you're feeling like um, you wish you had another year or two to, to work on uh, business courses, then uh, Booth is set up to enable you to do that. Um, and so we look forward to welcoming um, a number of people into further discussion and perhaps uh, into admissions at Booth. So back over to you, Keegan. Thanks, Wendy. Also on the call from Booth University College is Georgine Vandemosler, Director of Advancement. Georgine, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit? Sure, thanks, Keegan. Um, so welcome everybody. And uh, I um, am really pleased to be on the call today with you as Director of Advancement. I advance the mission of Booth University College. And just a little bit of background about the institution. Um, 
we are 40 years young, celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. So we're relatively new. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. Wendy mentioned that we're small and we're small by design. Um, it allows class sizes of about 14 students on average. Uh, so you're not just looking at completing a degree at a large institution, you're looking at a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, um, a lot of collaboration with your professors, a lot of collaboration with your fellow students. So it's a, a much more intimate setting, um, albeit that we've been virtual for the last two years, but we're hopeful for the future to be back in person. Um, and um, I, our tagline or our commitment is education for a better world. And indeed, we've got many international students as well um, at Booth University College. And we also have been able to provide um, online learning internationally in the last couple of years, which has been wonderful. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Booth is a beautiful place to study. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on campus over that cup of tea in the fall. And uh, you'll have to hold me to my word. Um, come in and grab me and say, I want my cup of tea. So we'll see you then. Thanks, Georgine. Uh, so uh, Georgine touched a little bit about uh, the institution. Uh, I would like to touch a little bit more on where Booth UC is located. Uh, for those that you that don't know, Booth UC is located at the heart, in the heart of Winnipeg. Uh, and our campus is located on 447 <clears throat> Web Place and 290 Vaughan. We like to say that our that the city core is our campus, and what we mean by that is that our campus and the individuals that are around us, we're partnered and we're growing in partnership between the programs at Booth UC and the organization and the individuals that reside alongside us in the city core. We're also near, uh, we're located near public transit uh, within walking di distance to so many of Winnipeg's favorite communities and attractions. Uh, such as the Exchange, Forks, Broadway, uh, and uh, Portage and Maine. Uh, but I, let's, I don't want to just talk about Booth UC and the campus that we offer. I would like to so, show you. So let's take a virtual tour. Hi there, and welcome to Booth University College. Booth UC is a private Christian institution in the heart of downtown Winnipeg. We combine Christian faith and rigorous scholarship with a commitment to education for a better world. If you are looking for a supportive and connected student community, Booth UC is the perfect place. Being in downtown Winnipeg means you can walk to places like the Forks, the Winnipeg Art Gallery, and Bell MTS Place. Let's take a look at why so many of our students call this place home. The main campus building, or the Waldron Building, is located at 447 Web Place. Our front desk and student services team are available as you walk in. If you need a question answered, this is the place to be. Located right off the main entrance is the Commons. It's a student space where you can study, watch TV, or play pool. Also conveniently located on the main floor is one of the most popular gathering places at Booth UC, Booth Bistro. The Bistro offers fantastic food at great prices. At Booth UC, your academic success is highly important to us. Located in the basement is Booth UC's Academic Learning Centre. The ALC provides in-person and virtual support, email appointments, workshops, and study sessions. Our film lab is also in the basement level and offers a comfortable place for English and film study students to view new releases and classic films. This is Booth UC's Social Work Lab. Booth UC's Social Work students use this lab to facilitate learning. They can take part in group video sessions, practice their skills, and receive feedback from professors. At Booth UC, you are more than just a number. That is why our maximum class capacity is 50 students. Our focus is on creating student-centered small classes where you will quickly get to know your professors and classmates. The Hetherington Chapel is host to our weekly community gatherings, student worship band, and Bible study group. If you're in need of a quiet study space or an area to hang out with friends, our third floor lounge is a great spot. 
Or if you want some fresh air, our rooftop patio is a great spot to study during the warmer months. Need to get in touch with your professor? Faculty offices are conveniently located in two wings on the third floor. Living on campus is very affordable, and your monthly fee includes a meal plan at our bistro. Residence is on the upper floors of our main campus building. Each floor has great common areas to cook, watch TV, lounge, and do laundry. Located a short walk from the Waldron Building is Peterson Hall, newly renovated in 2015. Here you will find state-of-the-art classrooms, our school for continuing studies, and our library. One of the main hubs at Booth UC is the John Fairbank Memorial Library. A great feature of Booth UC's academic program is that each student is assigned their own personal librarian. If you're looking for a quality university experience that focuses on your individual needs, one that brings together Christian faith and a passion for learning and service, you'll find it at Booth University College. Awesome. So thanks for taking that virtual tour with me and we'll uh, get into some more of the details of the two plus two program. So what does the degree completion program look like? Uh, you need to complete 60 credits or five uh, courses every term during two years, if done full time. While at Booth UC, uh, while here you would be studying the core curriculum, working towards uh, what would be a four year, considered a four year admi uh, in, uh, business administrations degree. Uh, classes would include about 27 credits in a variety of courses focused on the humanities. So uh, topics such, such as English literature, film, uh, social sciences, such as uh, sociology and psychology, and about 33 credits in business courses, which would include topics such as fraud examination, public relations, business, business ethics, and social responsibility, just to name a few. Uh, Booth, the School of Business at Booth UC has two partnerships that I would like to highlight. Uh, first is um, the Chartered Professional Accountants. Uh, Booth offers a continuation uh, of 10 of the 14 courses needed for the CPA designation. So while you might have taken some classes at Red River that the CPA recognizes, uh, you would be able to continue to accumulate uh, those prerequisites at Booth. Uh, the second partnership is with the European, European Innovation Academy. Uh, Booth University College is a few selected Canadian institutions eligible to offer the European Innovation Academy opportunity through its business program. Uh, through this partnership, business students uh, can participate in an extreme entrepreneurial program, working in multi multidisciplinary teams with expert mentors to make their ideas a tech startup in 15 days. Uh, this was uh, pre-COVID, uh, so things are uh, looking a little di bit different possibly as we uh, navigate through uh, this liminal period, but uh, I would like to point out that the individual uh, faith in this photo uh, was a uh, Red River College Polytechnique uh, 2 plus 2 student that came over to Booth UC to complete her the two-year BBA program. And they got their chance to apply and was accepted into the European Innovation Academy Conference uh, when it was in Turin, Italy. Uh, and Faith and their team won the Nixon Peabody Award, Pat, sorry, Nixon Peabody Patent Innovation Award, as well as one of, were considered one of the top uh, teams that were there. So that's really exciting. Next uh, is the tuitions and fees. Uh, so these are for fall 2022. I'm not gonna go in uh, into too much detail, but I would like to uh, just uh, let you know that um, first of all, um, the fees are, um, are, how do I put this? Uh, it's per course. So if you take, a, a, if you take the program full time, it will cost you per year, so 9,210. 
that's doing five courses per term. Uh, so two terms and that's one year. Um, but it does change with how many classes you would do. Um, so if you would like to take the program part-time, like uh, so less than three courses, that would off obviously like affect the price of uh, how much tuition you're paying per year. I'm sorry, that was a very clunky <laughs> uh, definition, but basically how many courses you take per term dictates how much you're paying um, for tuition. Um, I would also like to mention uh, that uh, with the degree completion program, this is also, you might be thinking, oh, $921, that's a lot for a course. But at the same time, uh, since we're taking 60 credits of your Diploma of Business Administration from Red River College, um, and we're putting it towards a, a bachelor's of business administration. It actually comes out, you're doing, you're in school for less time and it also is less money than uh, possibly um, applying to another school or applying to us and taking the four year, which would be um, exceptionally more money than doing the two year completion program. Um, also, I would like to mention there's also health and dental, and that's done through like insurance. That's done through a third party. Uh, so the price changes on, on that, and uh, but is required if you don't have any while attending at Booth UC. If you have any questions like that, I can address those um, at the end of this presentation or through email. Uh, we also have a residence available. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail for for this either. But uh, I do want to make it uh, aware that if you are uh, not currently in Winnipeg, that uh, residence is an option while you're at, uh, well, if you're attending Booth uh, after your second year. And uh, I would love to uh, talk with you at length with that if you're interested. Uh, Booth UC uh, also offers a modest scholarship and awards program. Uh, the two, uh, main uh, scholarships or awards that you want to be look, looking out for would be the 2 plus 2 business scholarship or the transfer student scholarship. Uh, and these scholarships are, uh, the applications to these scholarships are due April 30th, 2022. So I know that we have a lot of individuals that are probably heading into their second year or, uh, and we also, I, there's an individual that has graduated already, but I don't know if they're going to come this year or next year, um, but uh, this is uh, something that you want to keep in mind. Uh, it is important to make sure that you apply early uh, so that you're eligible to apply for these scholarships. Booth UC also offers a uh, bursary program, and our bursary program is for those that need an extra uh, $200 or $100 to um, pay off that tuition, and it has running due dates. Uh, and uh, there's an application that, uh, that requires you to submit some uh, financial information, I believe, as well as a financial plan. Uh, and also Booth UC uh, is uh, able to accept bursaries and scholarships from the Manitoba um, Scholarship and Grant Program. Uh, so as soon as, uh, if you get accepted, we offer you a, a letter and you're able to apply for the scholarships and grants that are uh, offered through uh, the province of Manitoba. Uh, like our uh, virtual uh, tour said, we offer a bunch of student supports. Uh, this can uh, vary from the Academic Learning Center, which it offers peer-on-peer -peer tutoring uh, to accessibility surfaces if you have a uh, medically documented uh, uh, disability. Uh, we want to help you as best we can. So um, claiming that accessibility, uh, that you need that accessibility is a great opportunity uh, for us to help you. Also uh, learn in the best environment that you can. Uh, student support programs and also uh, a personal uh, librarian. Uh, the two that you might be the most interested in, I don't, I can't talk for everyone, 
but uh, personal librarian and academic learning center are some of the programs that are most interest, like individuals are the most interested in when they are coming from a different school or also are uh, a older or what we consider a mature learner. Uh, these are great opportunities uh, to uh, hone your skill at uh, academic writing, research, um, and to utilize a personal librarian to help you uh, make the best uh, paper or presentation that you can or the academic learning service uh, center, uh, making sure that your, uh, that your papers are, are up to the academic standard that Booth expects them to be at. Uh, they also uh, run um, different workshops on resume building and whatnot at different times of the year. So these are some great student supports to uh, consider or use, using or consider in your um, evaluation of what you would like to do uh, after university and if both UCs or, sorry, uh, what you would like to do after your time at Red River College. Uh, Polytechnique and if Booth UC is a, a good fit for you. Uh, so that brings me to this slide, the admissions requirements. Uh, the admissions requirements are, are quite simple. It's the completion of the Red River uh, College Polytechnique's uh, two-year diploma in business administration uh, with a uh, grade average of C or 2.0 or uh, better. And how do you apply to the program? Uh, well, you want to make sure that you have all the pro proper documentation. So you want to make sure that you have uh, your school transcript, uh, unofficial version. So that can be a screenshot or the um, transcript that's sent to you after you graduate, um, or if you if uh, or the official one, which uh, can be delivered through a system called uh, mycreds.ca uh, to Booth UC. Uh, and then you want to go to boothuc.ca and click the apply now button. Uh, we don't have any application fees uh, and we uh, deliver a personalized admissions experience. So you'll be partnered up with someone, uh, myself, uh, and we would uh, help you work through your application, answer any questions that you have, any concerns, uh, and just make sure that uh, you're guided uh, through the application process well. Uh, that brings me to the end of our presentation today and to the question and answers portion. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to uh, put my contact information in the chat. Just give me a moment. So everyone has that that is joined today. And then I'm also going to stop the recording uh, so I can open it up to the floor and uh, take any questions that you may have.